Wiggle it, jiggle it. A monster effort. 149 and three, sub 50 once again at the Delaware County Fair. And he comes first up past the quarter to take the little brown jug. We did it. Delaware. You have to drop bike on your side when you get it off. I thought he was beat. He was up beside the horse, dropped back a little bit. Now look, he's coming back. All hard. Never gives up. The 70th edition of the Little Brown Jug is in the books, and the voice himself said it was the greatest jug ever, and I'm inclined to agree. Let's see how we got there. Out pops Yankee Bounty after the leader. Lost for words. Lost for words. Yankee Bounty on the outside. The battle's for the third and fourth. It's all. Lost for words. Ready. Words went wire to wire from the rail in the first heat in 150 and 2 for hometown hero Brian Brown, and the winner's circle was packed. It was a fast mile, but trainer Brian Brown wasn't too concerned about the speed. I was a little worried when Yannick was going to be able to get out the top of the stretch, but uh, David did a bang up job. Did it. He rated him very easy, and the horse had plenty of kick at the end. He looked like a monster, 50 and 2 that first heat. Pretty easy? Yeah, you know what? I mean, he, he, he's no slouch himself, you know, and he was able to dictate the, pa dictate the pace, you know, which always means a lot, you know, and uh, he raced very well. In the second elimination heat, we saw a huge showdown with Wiggle It Jiggle It and the newly improved Art Speak. The mile went 149 and 2. Montreal Teague was happy with his horse's effort, but he wasn't satisfied yet. Into the stretch they come. Wiggle It Jiggle It, Art Speak. Wiggle It Jiggle It on the outside. My hero to run. Coming to the wire. Wiggle It Jiggle It. No, not a lot of horses can go 49 first up on a half mile track. No, I mean, how did you feel about it when you sent him? Nervous. I'm still <laughs> nervous. I'm still shaking and stuff, but uh, I'm, I mean, honestly, I'm still not happy about it. I want, I want a little brown jug. I got to do one more time. It all came down to the final heat, where we saw an absolutely epic battle between Lost for Words and Wiggle It Jiggle It that wasn't resolved until the wire. Nose to nose, stride for stride, two to two. Well, leaving out of there, that did, that did not go as planned. I'm like, wow, man, this ain't good. But the horse got a great set of lungs. But when he hit the last turn, he kind of gave it up a little bit. And, and I was thinking, this is not going to be good. He's going to get beat. Then I kept looking, kept looking. He ended up. I'm like, wow. And he won. So he surprised the heck out of me. He's a talented person, man. He's got as much talent as anybody driving. You know, greatness comes with opportunity. I just hope he gets more opportunity as he goes. But showed today he can drive with the best of them. How about for the whole family, George? Oh, they're all here, man. We're just loving it. You know, you don't get these kind of horses every day, and you don't take it for granted. The second heat, he skipped on you over there. I mean, was your heart in your throat? Oh, by far. Even when I got away third, I was, wasn't very happy. But uh, then he leaped over. There was come a little bit of shadows coming out. But um, he, like I said, he's the, he, he is the best. And your dad mentioned that he thought, you know, coming down the stretch with Lost for Words and Lost for Words Edge, he thought you guys were beat and he stopped looking. Did you have that same feeling or did you think you were coming right back at him? Same feeling. I, I, th I thought I was beat too, coming around the last turn. He got away from me by a length, but man, coming down the stretch, he just has another gear from somewhere. I have no idea where he pulls it from. So you didn't pull the plugs. Did you, I mean, were you just not going to or? No, I, I actually didn't even notice it until Yana came beside me. He's like, dude, you didn't pull the plugs? I, I honestly forgot. I was so excited. What does it mean to do it for your dad? Um, and he's so supportive of you. Everything is, you know, he's got your back. It's the greatest thing. I mean, it, it, it's just sentimental, sentimental value doing it for dad compared to another uh, trainer. 
we can go home and celebrate. Right and, the Buckeye State. and you just told the other trainer to say thank you, and instead I, I can go to dad and celebrate Super with Valley him. Farm. When the stretch call came, Roger Houston said that loss for words was not a loser today. He just got beat, and trainer Brian Brown was still pretty proud of his horse's effort. The kid does a hell of a job with that horse. All the the beef he gets sometimes, uh, but just as proud of my horse, my driver, my groom, my whole staff. To wait all these years and come that close is a little disappointing, but couldn't be prouder of the whole bunch. They went from thinking they were the losers to being the winners, and you thought you were the winner, and then you got, got nipped at it. I mean, what's that feeling like for you? Yeah, there's some disappointment in it, you know, for sure, but it, the horse race, the horse race tremendous. You really, you know, it was just a, it's a tough loss, you know, but uh, in the, in the other hand, you know, we'll live to race again, you know, and uh, my horse race, he raced as good as he could, you know, he just got beat. What kind of horse is that that goes 249 miles on a half mile track? Plug's still in. Horse of the year. <laughs>